When it comes to investing in our dream home, we make sure we get value for money we put in. Today, we take a look at the South Chennai property market where we review the top five areas which score in terms of budget, amenities, accessibility, infrastructure and quality of projects available. Smita is here with the report. The central business district in Chennai was once centered around Mount Road in Gindi. Today, thanks to the IT boom, the city is growing rapidly towards the south. A new market is emerging for the cosmopolitan home buyers working in the tech sector and are in the lookout for affordable homes. We tell you the top five localities in South Chennai for the buyer on a budget. Navalur was once a village, but now because of the Sirisiri IT park, it has become a bustling suburb. Already a favorite rental location among students and IT professionals and top builders like Radiance and Olympia are already established here. Perumbaka. Apartments in the region sell at an average of 3,400 to 4,000 rupees per square foot with top builders such as Radiance, Urban Tree and Plaza properties having well-developed townships at a walk-to-work distance. Annualized price appreciation is anywhere between 6 to 8 percent. Poor people working in the Tambaram area, be it people working in Sholing Nallur, be it people working in Sipcourt. So it's a, that area is revolutionized to be into a residential hub. So that's something that you'll see. So five years down the line when Plaza as such, we started, uh, we were the first mover there. And then now, if you go on that road, you'll see projects everywhere. So you'll see all the top developers already establishing their bases there. So that'll be my second pick. Kalambakam. With neighbors Sholing and Allur and Perambakam slowly getting choked, an upcoming residential space. A thousand square foot apartment is available for just under 35 lakhs. For young IT couples, this is a much sought after location. Gudwan Cheri. Close to SRM University, IT companies like Accenture, Ford and Mahindra World City. Most of the lands here have been either DTCP approved or Panchayat approved at low prices as the area doesn't come under Chennai Municipality. Tapping into this potential of a micro-market with good rail and road connectivity are top builders Lankar, Arun Excello and Sriram Properties. Perengalathu A big thumbs up because it is home to industries like Nissan, Ashok Leyland and TBS it has major infrastructure projects like the six-lane Chennai Peripheral Road from Sri Parambatu to Ennore Port and the 350-acre Aerospace and Logistics Park at Sri Parambatu. Prices have gone up steadily 15% in the last five years in the Oragadam Perambatu Sri Parambatu belt, making it a good bet for investors. Uh, South Chennai is largely driven by IT, ITES demand. You know, the kind of uh, job opportunities that a corridor like Omar creates uh, fuels demand. So even if you look at uh, Perengalatur on the GST side, the OMR demand uh, becomes the biggest boost for uh, housing demand. So usually uh, uh, IT, ITS people working, the, the budget they usually look at is mid housing sells faster. It sells like hot cakes. So if you target uh, somewhere uh, ticket sizes between 35 lakhs to 50, at the max 55, 60 lakhs sells extremely faster. Chennai's population is ever growing and the city will soon reach a saturation point in terms of developable space. It is imperative that we come out with new growth corridors to manage the rapid urban sprawl. In Chennai with camera person Sukumar, Smita TK, Findy TV.